so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can make a bot which can do mobile number verification using otp so uh, basically otp stands for one time password and in a lot of cases you want the user the, your end user to enter their mobile number and you want to verify that it is the number that they actually possess them they actually own that number so you want to send a, a four digit or a six digit uh, one time password on their mobile number as an sms and they need to verify they need to enter that message back in the uh, bot and you can then verify whether the uh, the digit is correct or not so uh, in order to do this uh, you need uh, some kind of sms sending service um, you can basically do this thing with just just an sms sending service uh, but you need to have something which can do the verification part of it uh, but for a lot of cases uh, there is a service, uh, uh, there are services like, you know, which can do OTP based verification as part of their SMS delivery you know, platform itself. So one of the, one of the uh, platform that I'm using is called MSG 91 and they have an SMS delivery service and a OTP uh, sending and OTP verification service as well. So you can actually uh, try it out and uh, use this API in the bot itself. So I have this bot here, which actually does this integration with this MSG 91. And uh, once you sign up on this platform, uh, you will get to this kind of dashboard. And here you can see the credential that we are going to use in the bot. Uh, here is an API key, which you can, uh, which you need in the API integration. And if you click on the API documentation, there are, there are you know, uh, details of how you can do the integration within the bot. So let me just jump into the bot itself. So this is a very simple bot. Uh, in the very first gambit, I'm asking the user for their mobile number, for their 10 digit mobile number, and just make sure you are uh, choosing the, choose the, the 10 digit uh, validation. And in the next gambit itself, I'm using the, this API for uh, send OTP message from MSG91. And this is the API endpoint, which is a post method and this URL, and it requires four uh, parameters. First is the auth key, which is the same one, which is this API auth key, which is part of your account. Second one is the message. A message uh, needs to be you know, anything which says you know, this is your OTP, and it needs to be, uh, it needs to show OTP with this, uh, uh, this syntax. So here you can see, I have put it like double hash, then OTP in all caps and double hash. This will replace, this will, this will get replaced by the actual uh, four digit OTP number, right? And the rest of this, like, you know, it's OTP from, you can put your company name and stuff. Uh, the other two parameters are the sender and the mobile number. So in this case, sender is the, just anything that you want to show to the user na, keep as part of where the message is coming from. And mobile number needs to be the full international format with the uh, country code. So I'm I'm just sending this mobile number. Uh, I'm basically collecting this mobile number from India. So the country code for us is 91, and followed by the 10-digit number that the user has given, which is basically URSP dot the name of the gambit on which you're collecting the mobile. So that is URSP or mobile. So this itself will uh, send an OTB this message, and this part of this message, this part of the message, get replaced by the four-digit number. Uh, so in this API gambit, this is happening. Uh, so in the next gambit, you just ask for the same uh, the number that you know, the user is uh, received on their SMS. And in the next one, you need to verify it. So if you go back to API documentation, there's this verify OTP uh, API endpoint. Similar, similar thing, just a different uh, endpoint URL. Auth key would be same. Mobile number would be mobile number of the uh, the the user itself and OTP that what they have entered as part of the verification. So here you can see the same thing. So this is the auth key. This is uh, the mobile number that the user entered and the, this is the OTP that they have entered in this particular gambit, right? So in this case, uh, the value of this would be either uh, success or failure. So, so the, uh, basically sample response for this verification process will be something like this. So number verified successfully in, and a type would be success or it could be fail. So what I'm doing here is in the conditional jump on the same gambit, I'm just checking whether the value is success or not. If it is success, then you just the verification is done basically. 
if it's not successful uh, if its its value is not success anything uh, other than anything but success then it basically goes to the this gambit which says no it looks like you've entered wrong otp and please try again and it it basically loops in through and you know, it connects back to the verification gambit and uh, tries to verify it again otherwise if it they have successful it just basically says no ki it is uh, uh, the verification is done so this is how you do it uh, it's very simple process to complete i hope you find it useful